Hello again, my friends. Daily Bible readings today is from Job chapters 15 and 16. Are you all ready? Fasten your seat belts. Here we go. Then answered Eliphaz the Temanite, Job said his say. Now Eliphaz the Temanite is going to say some stuff. Job didn't have very good friends, if y'all hadn't figured that out by now. Should a wise man utter vain knowledge and fill his belly with the east wind? Should he reason with unprofitable talk or with speeches wherewith he can do no good? Yea, thou castest all fear and restrainest power at prayer before God. For thy mouth uttereth thine iniquity, and thou choosest the tongue of the crafty. Job was speaking the truth. And that's what these friends got to say. Thine own mouth condemneth thee, and not I. Yea, thine own lips testify against thee. Art thou the first man that was born? Or wast thou made before the hills? Hast thou heard the secret of God? And dost thou restrain wisdom to thyself? What knowest thou that we know not? And what understandest thou which is not in us? With us are both the gray-headed and very aged men, much elder than thy father. Are the consolations of God small with thee? Is there any secret thing with thee? Why doth thine heart carry thee away? And what do thy eyes wink at? That thou turnest thy spirit against God and lettest such words go out of thy mouth. What is man that he should be clean, and he which is born of a woman, and he should be righteous. Behold, he putteth no trust in his saints, yea, the heavens are not clean in his sight. How much more abominable, abominable and filthy is man which drinketh iniquity like water. I will show thee, Hear me, and that which I have seen I will declare, which wise men have told from their fathers, and have not hid it, unto whom alone the earth was given, and no stranger passed among them. <clears throat> the wicked man travaileth with pain all his days, and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor. A dreadful sound is in his ears, and prosperity the destroyer, shall come upon him. He believeth not that he shall return out of darkness, and he is waited for of the sword. He wandereth abroad for bread, saying, Where is it? He knoweth that the day of darkness is ready at his hand. Trouble and anguish shall make him afraid. They shall prevail against him as a king ready to do ready to the battle. For he stretcheth out his hand against God, and strengtheneth him himself against the Almighty. <clears throat> he runneth upon him, even on his neck, upon the thick bosses of his bucklers, because he covereth his face with his fatness, and make collops of fat on his flanks. And he dwelleth in desolate cities, and in houses which no man inhabiteth, which are ready to become heaps. He shall not be rich, neither shall his substance continue, neither shall he prolong the perfection thereof upon the earth. He shall not depart out of darkness, the flame shall dry up his branches, and by the breath of his mouth shall he go away. Let him not that is deceived trust in vanity, for vanity shall be his recompense. 
it shall be accomplished before his time, and his branch shall not be green. He shall shake off his unripe grape as the vine, and shall cast off his flower as the olive. For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. They conceive mischief and bring forth vanity, and their belly prepareth deceit. Chapter 16. Then Job answered and said, I have heard many things. Miserable comforters are ye all. Shall vain words have an end? Or what emboldeneth thee that thou answerest? <clears throat> I also could speak as you do, if your soul were in my soul's stead. I could heap up words against you and shake my head at you. But I would strengthen you with my mouth, and the moving of my lips should assuage your grief. Though I speak, my grief is not assuaged, and though I for forbear, what am I eased? But now he hath made me weary, thou hast made desolate all my company, and thou hast filled me with wrinkles, which is a witness against me, and my leanness rising up in me beareth witness to my face. <clears throat> He teareth me in his wrath, who hateth me. He gnasheth upon me with his teeth. Mine enemy sharpeneth his eyes upon me. They have gaped upon me with their mouth. They have smitten me upon the cheek reproachfully. They have gathered themselves together against me. God hath delivered me to the ungodly and turned me over into the hands of the wicked. I was at ease, but he hath broken me asunder. He hath also taken me by my neck and shaken me to pieces and set me up for his mark. His archers compass me round about. He cleaveth my reins asunder and doth not spare. He poureth out my gall upon the ground. He breaketh me with breach upon breach he runneth upon me like a giant. I have sewed sackcloth upon my skin and defiled my horn in the dust. My face is foul with weeping and on my eyelids is the shadow of death. Not for any injustice in my hands, also my prayer is pure. O earth, cover not thou my blood, and let my cry have no place. Also now behold my witnesses in heaven, and my record is on high. My friends scorn me, but mine eye poureth out tears unto God. Oh, that one might plead for a man with God as a man pleadeth for his neighbor. When a few years are come, then I shall go the way whence I shall not return. All right, y'all, that's chapters 15 and 16. And Job, even though all of this happened to him and he's now in extreme pain and boils covering his body that are oozing out gunk and pain that's unimaginable. He still is leaning on God and praying and putting his trust and his faith in God and even sharing God with those that don't know him. We need to be a lot more like Job that's it, y'all, for now. And I gave a hint at something on my short video this morning. I'm going to do a video 
explaining it now. I think most of y'all regular viewers know the answer, but I'm going to answer it scripturally after a while. I've been busy today. I feel like crud. I feel bad. Sleep last night was horrible. I was up and down, up and down, up and down all night. <clears throat> I'd get hot, then I'd get cold, then I'd get hot, then I'd get cold. <laughs> <coughs> but anyway, that doesn't matter. Life's got to go on. I haven't eaten today. I've got to eat some. <coughs> <clears throat> and that's getting close to supper time and I haven't eaten all day. Maybe I'll eat a can of pork and beans. Those things are always good. God bless you, my friends. I'll be back with you later. Y'all take care.